speak of goals, we have another very different speaker today. And that is, always taking his audience forward, I hereby give you Toastmaster Cluster. Hello, Toastmasters and guests. Today, Toastmaster is the presenting project number four from advanced communication series, interpersonal communication. The coach objectives are determine reasons for someone's substandard performance, coach the person to improve performance. The time limits are for presentation four to five minutes, one minute of explanation of role play, role play three to five minutes, question answer discussion session two to three minutes. Please put your hands together before that, title of his speech is I di a dialogue for improvement. Please put your hands together for Toastmaster Aspen. Who is a coach? What is uh, coaching? Uh, Mr. President, dear Toastmasters, and uh, guest to certified coach. Uh, my earliest memory about coach and coaching is related to football coaches. You must have seen two perfect, perfectly respectable gentlemen who are sitting outside the ground and shouting. Not only shouting, but making gestures. Sometimes they are more excited, some other time they were more frustrated. Then all 22 players combined who are playing inside the field. But as a grown-up, I encountered another scenario where this term was being discussed. This term, it was in the organizational context. Now over here, coaching was all about to helping someone to improve his or her performance. Today, as the objective of my speech, I'm going to discuss this type of coaching in the organizational context. And my disc discussion based on some techniques, based on which, uh, when I discuss, once I discuss my techniques, based on those techniques, I will have a small conversation in the form of role play, where I'll try to utilize those techniques. And by the end of the session, I'll request you for your observation or questions. Uh, let me discuss the techniques, and I'll take the help of this one. Don't remember the world of the day. It is status quo. And, uh, when it comes to the techniques, as a coach, I think uh, the, the first one is, is about the venue. Venue is, is very important. You need to set someone in a private place to discuss the issue which you are facing or your organization is facing. Now, the private place not only protects the dignity of your employee, but also give, gives him uh, confidence or the encouragement to respond. Secondly, the specific reason. The specific the specific reason is uh, all about, uh, you know, uh, when two persons from the same organization sit somewhere, there is a lot of things to be discussed. But you have to focus yourself on a certain thing or only one thing in order to find out the solution. Now, even the specific reason, there is a area of concern. Area of concern. For example, you want to discuss about the stationery of the office. The stationery, non-availability of the stationery. Let's say non-availability of the stationery. Now, non-availability of stationery uh, can be due to the tendering issues, due to the supplier-related uh, issues, and the transportation-related issues, 
Now the area of concern is related just one area where you want to discuss, for example, transportation. And you will, then you will leave out the tendering process or, or the suppliers related issues. The important thing about this issue is to conclude your point in the earlier time and you narrow down your discussion only on one point. Another reason is about uh, impact of the problem. As a coach, one needs to discuss the impact of the problem, uh, the, the impact of the problem arising from, from the transportation or from, from the problem. For example, if uh, due to a uh, transportation issue, the office stationery is not arriving at the office, you have to convince him that how your office is suffering. For example, your reports are not being submitted timely, which is creating a reputational issue for your organization. So you have to uh, discuss the impact of the problem. Uh, the fifth reason is all about uh, discussing solution. Even being in the driving seat as a coach, the solution has to come from your employee. Let him discuss the list of the solution and then find out one of the solution to uh, go forward. I mean, you are, you are not going to give him or her the liberty to come up with the solution. You are merely helping, up, uh, helping him or her to come the list of the solution and to, then you jointly find out only one solution. Lastly, is, is praise or compliment. You know, it is universal. Praise or com uh, and compliment is universal. You know, your employee must have been doing so many other things which are good, which are encouraging, or which are helping your company. Unless he is a complete loser or some sort of jerk. The last one is appropriate language. Appropriate language. Never call your employee a jerk if you want to let him do it. <laughs> Secondly, try to use a language which is not personal to him. For example, you committed this mistake. No, this mistake has been committed or a situation somehow is going from bad to worse. Not who are responsible for the situation. So these are some of the techniques. Now I'm uh, going to have a role play with my, one of my colleagues and I will try to utilize these techniques and then I'll request you how successful I am. Uh, let me bet the scenario. The scenario is Karachi Toast Master Color. I am the president and usually president of Karachi Toast Master Color is not a boss or a dictator. He is merely first among the equal and he is uh, trying to help one of his subordinates to improve certain area or only one area of Karachi Toastmaster Kalam. So as a partner, please welcome my subordinate, TM Imran Rana. <laughs> Thank you. 
I just wanted to know, have you ever thought about this particular area? First of all, thank you very much, uh, Mr. President, for your appreciation of my overall performance. Yes, I have seen that, that because of your charismatic personality, nowadays we are uh, having a lot of members uh, in the meeting. Uh, from the past, past few meetings, we were underestimating about the numbers. But yes, you are right that we are short of uh, seats uh, as guests and members are more than that. Yeah, uh, thank you very much. Uh, you know, uh, it is not a very serious issue. The people can sit even uh, in, in a corner. But sometimes I feel that we are forcing our participant to sit, sit far from us. We are in a way depriving them to cast their vote if they are guest because they do not have a pen and pad in their hand. Just have a look what they are right now. Secondly, uh, you know, uh, they pay equal charges for this room, but they even can't drink a glass of water because they are monopolizing by the people who are sitting around the table. But, uh, this is something that uh, we need to discuss. It. Is, is it possible that we can talk about the hotel management? What is your suggestion? Uh, yes, you are right. Uh, I've seen uh, that sometimes the number of members and guests, they are so much that I am unable to uh, adjust myself in, in front. Uh, we can uh, sort out this issue, means if you come accompany me, uh, we can talk about Okay, to so what, 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 what could be the possible option while what, we go there? Uh, we can have, uh, we can request them to increase the number of seats or give us a bigger room so that we can uh, adjust and accommodate our members and guests. Or if not, then we have to find well, I think as far the venue is concerned, we have to maintain the status quo. Uh, uh, but I really agree with you uh, that, that the seating arrangement uh, should be increased uh, from the current number to at least 50, and that 50 should be fixed so that every participant have a proper chair in front of them and at least a glass of water. So, uh, but I will, I want to take the Vice President public relation with us because he is responsible for the reputation of Karachi uh, Toastmaster Kalaji. Yes, I am totally agree with you, but there is one reason that means if we agree with the management that we will, we will have 50 seating arrangement. If unable, we don't have that, they will cost, they will charge us that 50 people arrangement. So, what we can do is that I just review it and then uh, I'll pray for it. Oh, that's good. The reviewing is, is a good option. Can we meet uh, next week uh, based on your review and can we follow up the situation then? Yes, we can. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, you know, I, ideally the, the situation is more complicated than what I described, but is there any uh, observation or suggestions or questions? It means the situation is ideal. <laughs> <laughs> Please, clap for me so that you can move on.